Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you're doing so, so well today. Look at this beautiful spread we have in front of us today. Oh my goodness. Today, we are going to be making one of my all-time favorite dishes ever. Oh my gosh, I'm like my heart's starting to beat fast because I just love it so much. Today, we are making a Thai soup called Tam Ka Soup. This soup, if you've never had it, is phenomenal okay it's absolutely delicious it's a coconut based soup oh, if you've never had it you need to go to a Thai restaurant now and order it it's beautiful I love it so much so today well the soup actually is traditionally called from my understanding Tom Ka Gai and in Thai Tom means to boil or soup or I but I think it means boil not soup and then ka means galongo which is this crazy looking thing right here which I'm going to talk about in a minute and then guy means chicken and I don't fuck around with chicken so we're going to use tofu today because we're making it vegan yes queen and um we can call this tom ka tofu yes ma'am so I'm going to make this dish for you today because a lot of you have been asking me to do like cooking videos showing you how I cook my food this is one of my favorite 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 things to make and I haven't made it in such a long time and I'm like going off the recipe off the top of my head so if there's any Thai people out there and I screw something up please let me know because I I don't know what I'm doing I watched like one video and read a recipe and I'm like okay queen I got this <laughs> but yeah Yes, I've got my rice cooking over there, and we are going to cook this delicious soup together. Mm, I'm so excited. So the first thing we want to do is I want to get this thing turned on so I can um, start boiling the liquids. Okay, I don't really remember how to turn this thing on. Let me get my hair out of the way. Oh no, yeah, I forgot, it was easy. Oh no, my earring stuck to my dress, no. Okay. All right, there we go. <sighs> nice, okay. So um, the first thing we're gonna start off with is some water. I've got about three cups of water right here. I don't know if that's good enough. I don't know. I don't use measurements. So if you want to like really follow a recipe on Tom Cog soup, you need to find one <laughs> because I'm using about three cups of water in here. I'm going to put it in there. And with Tom Cog eye soup, when, when it has chicken in it, they start off usually with chicken stock and then add their chicken and boil the chicken in the water and coconut milk. But we are not going to use that because again we don't do chicken stuff but i have this stuff from better than bouillon it's vegetarian no chicken base i'm sorry i know that there's a glare but this is a vegan chicken broth substitute and i mean it smells like chicken broth it's like weird <laughs> it's crazy let's see there's carrot, celery, celery, <gasps> no, why is there celery in here? Onions, salt, corn protein, cane sugar, turmeric, I guess that's what gives it the color. And then we're gonna put that in there to kind of simulate, um, what am I trying to say? Chicken stock, yeah. Let's see, since I put three cups water, one teaspoon, Better than bouillon is like one eight, eight ounce can, which is one cup of water. There's three cups, so I need three teaspoons, right? Is that math right? Who knows? I'm just going to put about that much. We'll see. Okay. Yum. Okay, so while this is on low and the better than bouillon no chicken base is dissolving in there, um, let's get our ingredients that are going to go in here ready, okay? So this is galangal this crazy looking thing. You need galangal for this soup. You can substitute ginger. No, you can't. No, 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 you can't because it's just different. Then it wouldn't be tamka soup. So, um, galangal, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Galangal, I say excuse me for clearing my throat, but I don't say excuse me for burping. <laughs> galangal is like, okay, I have this sharp knife because this stuff is really hard. Okay, what was I saying? Galangal is like a citrusy, woody type root. Um, and oh my God, it's super hard. So I might have to stand up for this. There we go. Okay. Ah, the struggle is real. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so we might need more than this, but like a giant's thumb. You know, like you want a thumb size portion, but if say you were a giant. So like that bitch, okay? And then we're gonna cut this into thin slices. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this root part right here. Now in this soup, there's a lot of ingredients that you don't eat that are just in there for flavor. So like when you serve the bowls of soup, to your guest or to yourself, you're not gonna eat this stuff. Like this is one of the ingredients that you're not gonna eat. But um, you just wanna cut it into like slices like this. That's kind of a big slice, but I'll just cut that in half, you know? Oh my gosh. Like the, it's like woody, foresty, but citrusy. Oh, mm, I can't wait. Okay, so now that the broth is dissolved in there, let's add our coconut milk, you guys. Okay. What? Okay, so now... What? Ah! This dog drives me nuts. We are going to be putting in two cans of coconut milk. This is full fat coconut milk. Normally, if you're just making like a couple of servings, you'd only put in one can and then one can of water um, to dilute it, but I'm kind of doubling the recipe today, just so you know. All right, so we put that in there and then we're gonna put one more can in there. My dog is barking like crazy. I don't know, what? There's nothing there, chill out. I want to get all that coconut milk out there. Yum, yum. Okay, so now that the galangal is cut, we are going to be adding in lemongrass. Mmm, I love lemongrass. Also, by the way, all of these ingredients that I'm showing you right now, like the galangal and the lemongrass, if you can't find them in your local supermarket or like Asian markets, wherever, I'm going to link them down below where you can buy dehydrated, dried versions of these herbs and make this soup on your own because you need to try this soup. It's absolutely phenomenal. Let me turn this up so it's coming to a boil. I feel like I'm like the most unorganized person <laughs> ever <laughs> to like do a, a cooking show or whatever. But you know, bear with me, okay? So lemongrass, um, it comes like, like this with these stalks up here. Like you wanna cut off this top part because that's just like too fibrous and bitter so we're gonna cut off the tops like right about there okay and then we're gonna cut off the bottoms okay I also need to set up a little bit more Is my head cut off sorry okay so we cut off the bottoms and then we cut off the tops let me see if it's like really hard up here no that's good that'll be good so what we have to do with the lemongrass is we have to release the flavors so you can use the back of your knife or the blade of your knife or the handle I'm gonna use the handle okay and then we just hit the lemongrass it's gonna get loud So then we take off the outer layer of the lemongrass, okay? Mm. This stuff is so good. Oh my God, it smells gorgeous, gorgeous. And honestly, I don't even think this layer, no, this layer's good. We don't need to take that layer off. It looks like they might have already done that in the store. That one's good, we could take that one off. Okay, and then we're gonna cut it at an angle. So it like really, really redu reduces, releases the flavors. That's the kind of shape you wanna put them into your soup like. Okay, so this is kind of coming to a boil. Sweet, mix this around. Coconut milk is like, coconut milk is super fragile, so I just like to be gentle with it, you know? And they say to only stir your coconut milk in one direction. This is coming to a boil, and we don't wanna like rapidly boil our coconut milk but we just wanna wait for it to come to a boil and then we're gonna boil these, um, the galangal and the lemongrass. Okay, so I'm putting in like that much of the galangal, okay? 
And then I'm gonna put in the two stalks of lemongrass. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so let that come to a little bit of a boil, stirring in one direction. Mm. Okay, and now while that's coming to a boil, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. All right, so let's get our onion chopped. Oh, baby, I love onions. So I like to cut mine thin. You can also just cut them into big chunks and throw them in there. But I don't know, I like them, I like them thin in this soup, you know? They're, they're like little tiny noodles almost. It's so weird, like, cutting not standing up. Like, also, it's very hard cooking with nails. I feel like I'm always about to chop off my hand. Okay, so our onions are chopped. Oh, also, you guys, I forgot to put this in there. You see how mixed up I get? Okay, so these are Thai chilies that we're going to be putting in there. Okay, so you can do it a couple of ways. You could just cut off the tips and then throw them in there. You can smash them with your knife like that and bust them open like that and throw them in there. We're going to throw them in there while it's boiling. Or you can cut it open like this. I'm gonna use this short knife. If you cut them open, I like drank a bunch of coffee. I'm so caffeinated right now. Ooh, those onions. Like this and just cut a little slice open like that and pop them in there. Or you don't even have to add them at all. Sometimes they can get really, really spicy. So I only add two and then I add more chili later. Okay, but that's what they look like. Aren't they cute? So you don't want it to boil too much. You just basically want to let it simmer boil because you don't want the um, coconut milk to like kind of curdle, you know what I mean? So just keep an eye on it, stirring it gently because if you let it curdle or whatever, it's gonna separate. Oh my gosh, the onions are getting in my eye. Okay, y'all, so this has been boiling for a few minutes. So now we wanna add our mushrooms. So I got these mushrooms right here at Central Market. These are brown clamshell mushrooms. Look how beautiful those are. <gasps> Yum! So I'm just gonna cut off the roots. <laughs> Sound funny? <laughs> Oh, yum. And then we're just going to pop them in there to cook. And then these ones right here. Oh, my God. They look beautiful. <laughs> these ones right here. These are called. Look at the package. I had to get them because look, these ones are called. You can't see. Oh, my gosh. Can you? White. <laughs> white beach. <laughs> mushrooms white beach because you know me it's so funny it says safe, tasty safe healthy on there <laughs> white beach okay so these don't look like they need much cutting so we're just going to cut off a little bit of the roots that need it just so they can separate and we're going to cook these i don't know maybe about five minutes in there in a boil but we're also going to throw in our tofu let all those delicious flavors of the herbs in there soak in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've got my tofu right here in some paper towels, and we are just going to cut it up into cubes, okay? We're going to throw the tofu in there, just all cubed up. All right, next, my very sad looking cilantro. Look at this cilantro, oh my goodness. It's so freaking sad. I'm so disappointed in you, Central Market. I just bought this last night and I come home and this morning it's like wah wah. We are going to be putting in cilantro stems into our soup, okay? We are gonna save the um, cilantro leaves for garnish. Let me put that right there. We'll just give these a chop. Throw these in there, okay. So now that the mushrooms, cilantro, all that good stuff is in there, we're gonna let it boil for about five minutes, like I was saying, yeah, about five minutes. We'll get everything else ready while that's going on. So what else we're gonna put in our soup is some green onion. We could have already really put this in there, but whatever. Cut off the ends. Slice these bad boys up. I like, love green onions, so we're gonna use them all. I love onions, we all know this. We're also gonna add some tomatoes. And these, you just kinda give them a rough chop. 
Okay, and I want to add these in now. From what I remember, I don't think you're supposed to add them in now, but I don't, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. But these are kefir lime leaves. You have to have these as well. If you cannot find kefir lime leaves, again, I'm going to link the dehydrated, like dried versions down below that you could buy off Amazon. If you cannot find it or you need to use something else, you can use the rind of a lime. So just cut off the skin of a lime and throw that in there because that will work as well. I mean, it won't be the same, but yeah, you can do that as well. So to put your lime leaves in, you just want to tear them and kind of bruise them and scrunch them just like that. Just tear them up and throw them in there. You're not going to eat these. So there's three things in here that you're not going to eat. The galangal, the lemongrass, and the lime leaves. Yeah, and just bruise them up. Give them a good rub and rip. You know? Mmm. You don't want to rip them up too small because you want to be able to like pick them out of your soup. See, it's coming up too high of a boil. I don't want that because again, you don't want it to separate. This is going to be so good, you guys. It's so cold outside. I'm so excited. It's like the perfect soup for a cold day. Okay, I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been about five minutes. Who really knows? But... We are gonna throw in the onions, my babies, my baby onions, yum. And then we'll throw in the other, my babies, my other babies, the green onions. We're gonna throw in tomatoes. Oh, yum, 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 yum. So Tumka soup has fish sauce in it, fish sauce, why is that hard to say, in it. And obviously I'm not gonna be eating that. So we are going to be putting in some soy sauce as an alternative. You can also just use salt or you can use oyster mushroom sauce. But since we have lots of mushrooms in there, I don't think we need oyster mushroom sauce. So what we are going to do is add that right now and, or like I've just brought regular salt, like you can add whatever. I'm gonna add some liquid aminos. This is um, soy sauce alternative. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. But like someone told me in Thailand, they don't use any salt to cook with. Like, I don't know, maybe a little bit more. I just don't want it to change the color of the soup too much because, you know, it's like a white soup, traditional like coconut white soup. I don't want it to turn it like a weird brown. So somebody told me that in Thailand, they only use like fish sauce. Fish sauce. Why is fish sauce so hard to say? They only use fish sauce, Madison, instead of salt in all their cooking. Isn't that crazy? Like I'm constantly going up and down with the heat because coconut is like so super sensitive. All right, so now that that's gonna continue cooking with the tomatoes and the onions all in there, yummy, yummy, we are going to add some sugar, yum. I don't know, maybe about a tablespoon. This is um, cane sugar, more or less. If you like it sweeter, add more. If you don't, add less. It's all like up to like how you like your food. You know, I kind of like mine a little bit sweeter, but you know, it's entirely up to the individual. It smells gorgeous. Oh my God, you guys, it smells gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up a little bit after all of this is kind of prepped and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we are back. This is finishing up and I'm getting so excited. I hope I wasn't being too serious. And I like, how was that? Was that confusing? Did you guys learn anything? I don't know. I'm, I, I, it's hard for me to show people how to cook stuff. So let me know what you think. But it's almost ready and it smells gorgeous. We just need to taste it to see if it needs some more salt. And then I've got everything else that we're gonna get ready for the soup. We don't have the citrus in there yet. We do have the kefir lime leaves, but we're gonna be adding some lime. And you don't wanna put the lime in there when it is on the heat because you don't want it to go bitter okay so let's just taste the broth and see what we think it's gorgeous oh <gasps> mm. oh my goodness i'm so excited i'm definitely going to put some more salt in there but oh my goodness, wow. 
Mm. Now, if you want a creamier, like much creamier soup, you can add less water, but I wanted it to be really brothy and yummy and soupy because it's so cold today and I just wanna enjoy a nice hot bowl of soup. Okay, let's get our bowl ready. This is how you're going to serve your soup. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get some lime juice. Like I said, you don't wanna put the lime juice in the soup while it's cooking because it will go bitter. So I have half a lime here. You're gonna squeeze it into your bowl. Okay, however much you like. That'll be good enough for me. Just like a little bit less than half. And then we're gonna throw some cilantro in there. And then, so much fun, this is roasted chili oil. This is optional, you don't have to put it in there. Just like you don't have to put the chilies in there. But, oh my God, you know when you go to re uh, Thai restaurants, Chinese restaurants, whatever, they have those little cups of Thai chili, or not Thai chili, uh, chili oil. And like they have the little spoon and you spoon it out onto your food. That's what this is. And um, I saw it in the store yesterday. I was like, oh, perfect. Cause I was gonna have to make my own and I didn't want to. So, <sighs> oh! okay, come on. Oh, there we go. Smells spicy. And then what you do is you get a little bit on your spoon and you drizzle it around the bowl. You can also put it on top, but I like to put it in the bowl, okay? So in the bowl, we've got chili oil, cilantro, and lime juice, right? Okay, so now we are gonna put our soup in. Mm. Oh, did I show you also? I have some rice right here on the side. I'm sorry, I know it's so bright. Okay, so let's scoop it out. Look at that. Mmm, okay. Mm. Oh, look at this, you guys. Can you see? <gasps> oh, yum. So let's dig in. With this soup, you do have to be careful that like you're not eating the galangal, the lemongrass, or the chilies, um, or the lime leaves. So you do have to do like a lot of picking. You can strain. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. Dude, this is the best one I've ever made. Oh my God, I'm not even kidding. Mm. There are methods where you can strain out the, the herbs that you don't eat, but like that's not traditional and that's not fun. Like these things that are in the food represent what the soup tastes like. And that's part of the experience, you know what I mean? So just have a little bowl next to your soup, <clears throat> chilies, <clears throat> and you know, pop them in there while you're eating. That's so good, oh my gosh, you guys. Mm. We'll get some rice in there. You can put your rice in there just dump it right in or pour it right on top. I like to like have some bites with rice, some bites without. Mm. I'm in heaven. I am in mother freaking heaven, you guys. Mm. Mm. These string mushrooms in here are phenomenal. And you can really use like any kind of mushroom that you like, it doesn't matter. You could put really anything in the soup that you like. Mm. The chilies that I put in there, like I only did put two, are not spicy at all. The spice is gonna come from that chili oil, which I really could put some more in there. It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. Look, here's a little galangal. I don't know one. Mm. You could just like go through your soup and like pick it out with chopsticks before you eat. Look at those mushrooms hanging down, you guys. Mm. Or pick it out of your mouth as it comes. In Thai restaurants, 
they serve them in these bowls if i can find a picture i'll put it like right here and you can um order it by the cup or you can order it by the bowl and they come in these bowls that like they put chafing fuel in so it's really 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 hot mm, so good I love it so much and for me like it's so hard to find a place that serves Tom Cobb without fish sauce in it I mean some places do to like cater to vegetarians which is awesome but you know if you're a vegetarian you can always make this at home and it's phenomenal I promise it's so good and so easy like that wasn't hard I think the hardest part would be getting all your ingredients together you know so Thai queen if you are watching this right now this video is for you okay because she is Thai American and um, we were talking in my last video and I told her I was gonna make a Thai dish so hey girl hey queen how you doing mm. My nose is running. I want to put some more of this um, chili in there. But you have to keep shaking it up because the chili settles to the bottom. This chili oil. Look at that. Mm. Also, I know I put I dunked my spoon in there, but you know what? It's my jar. You know, it's my food. It's just me and my husband gonna be eating it, so no worries, right? Don't tell anybody. It's our little secret. There we go. Mhm. Mm There's the spice I'm looking for. Mmm. You guys, I got these um the ghost pepper chips from Pocky. And I've been wanting to do like a challenge, like see how many I can eat challenge. But I'm terrified. Oh my God. I'm so scared. Oh, it's so good with the chili oil. And you know, like, I know coconut milk has a lot of fat in it, but like the soup doesn't have any oil. So, Adding the chili oil really adds a lot of yummy flavor and oil. And who doesn't love oil? I love oil. <laughs> mm. This is so perfect, you guys. Mm. And the tofu, like, soaks up the flavor so well of the flavors of the soup. It's so good. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Have you guys ever had this soup? Let's put a poll right here. Have you had this soup? Answer yes right here if you have, okay? Or no. And if you haven't, would you ever make this soup? Put that in the comments as well. Mm. These little mushrooms are just so cute. And like, they're kind of chewy. They're chewier than normal mushrooms. Like they don't get as soggy. Are perfect and the onions oh my goodness so with the last little bit of juice in there I'm just gonna put some rice in there to soak it up mmm so excited I can't wait for my husband to try this and I'm also gonna take some to my mom's I'm going to my mom's right now I'm gonna go to my mom's and she's gonna be like why the hell are you wearing a full face of makeup <laughs> just to come see little old me <laughs> Okay, mm. you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you gained some knowledge and let me know what you think. Like, give me some feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.